Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we will continue our Plotly Dash series with several examples of core components or widgets that you can use in your Plotly Dash dashboards. If you visit the Plotly Dash documentation, there is a list of the different core components available in the Dash package. The core component examples we will cover include drop down menu, slider, input text, checklist, and upload. We will introduce callbacks and how to make your dashboards interactive, but the focus of this tutorial will be on the Dash Core Components, or widgets. We will cover callbacks in detail in a future tutorial. For all the examples, we will use some form of the following code setup to form our app foundation. We will import the needed packages. We will create the app with the code app equals dash dot dash. Then we will lay out our app with app dot layout equals html dot div. This is where we will put our html and dash core components. The dash core components are created using dcc dot with the name of the widget, such as dropdown. Next we will create our callback that will connect to the core component widget. When a widget is changed or updated, this will activate the callback function and update the output. For example, we have a drop down menu that updates a chart. When the core component drop down is changed, the callback function connected to the drop down is activated, which then updates the chart with the new data. Finally, we use app.runServer, setting debug to true to run the app. Let's show some of the examples in action. The first example is a dropdown with a chart. Let's run it using terminal. The default chart shows the population of France. To update the chart, we just simply choose a new country from the dropdown. The next example shows how to use a slider. When the slider is changed, it will output the value of the slider squared. The core components in this example are here, dcc.slider. Here we have an example of a text input core component. When the value of the text box changes, we get a new updated output. Our text box input core component is here, dcc.input. Next, we have a checklist example. The core components are dcc.checklist and dcc.graph. At the top, there are several checkboxes with airport locations. To plot the airport location, we can simply check the checkbox and it will appear on the map.
For the last example, we will use the upload widget to upload an image and then use TensorFlow Keras image recognition to predict the image. The dash core component is here. For the first image, we have a hot dog. Let's see what the prediction is. And we can see that the prediction is a hot dog or a pencil box. The next image is a plane. And the prediction is a wing or airliner. Here we have a bear. And the prediction is brown bear or bison. And for the last image, we have a lion. And the prediction is lion or Irish terrier. Coming soon, we will go over callbacks in detail and how to connect core components to callbacks. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.